Hi, juniors, and welcome to day two of our programming presentation. So today we will be covering um, some really awesome information and getting your classes into ARIES. Um, remember that this presentation is located in your class of 2022 Google Classroom. If you do not have this Google Classroom, there is the ad code at the bottom. Also, you can go back and review, rewatch this video as much as you need. What are we doing today? So like I mentioned, we're gonna go in and we're gonna enter the classes that you would like to take for your senior year into ARIES. So some items that you can have handy to help you with this process would be your transcript, any course descriptions that you would need to review, and your note or questions paper from last week. Um, we're, we will also be scheduling an appointment with your counselor to finalize your four-year plan in ARIES. And remember that this appointment window is from January 20th to January 29th. So I will give you some time in this presentation to schedule your appointment. Updating your academic plan in ARIES. So this is what we're going to be doing today. This is our step one. Um, this may look familiar to you. Um, we did complete this academic plan ever since your freshman year and we've been going in and updating it every year so this is what we will be finalizing today we will be putting in classes for 12th grade let's go ahead and access your academic plan in aries so just like last week step one go to delmar.cuhsd.org then at the top right of the page, you'll see this A, Aries icon. Go ahead and click on that. Step two, it'll bring you to this login page. Type in your student ID number and then your email. So it would be, for example, like this at my.cuhsd.org. Click next. And then in step three, you will click on the sign in with Google icon. You should be then directed to a page that looks something like this. If it doesn't look like this, then you will have a blue bar to the left side of the page. Either way, you will still have these same selections here. So go ahead and click on classes either at the top or to the left of the bar. Once you click on classes, you will then click on academic plan. So these are the steps you will follow if you would like to add in a class to your 12th grade section or delete a class. So please follow these steps if you would like to add a different class. You will click on course at the top. Then it'll bring down a space where you can type in as well as some course menus within that same little page. You can start typing in the class name here and then it'll bring it up. Once you find the class that you need, go ahead and click on it, and then you will click on Add to Plan. Once you click Add to Plan, it will then ask you, where would you like to place this course? What grade level? You will select 12th grade. For term, you will always select year long. So for example, Integrated Math 4, grade level 12, year long class. And then you will click on place the course. And it'll automatically place it into the 12th grade section over here. In this example, it's just showing you putting it into 10th grade, but when you do it, it will put it into the 12th grade slot over here on the far right. If you put a class in there last year that you are no longer interested in taking, no worries, you can delete it. So go ahead and hover over the course and either a little trash can will come up or a little X. Click on either of those and it will delete the class for you from your course request 12th grade. This is very important for those of you who do not want a first period class your senior year. So if you do not want a first period class, this means starting before 8 a.m 
make sure you select the no first period course name and add it to your 12th grade year. Remember though, if you are planning on taking seven classes, let's say um, you need all seven to graduate, or if you're taking work experience that meets once a week, then you will need seven classes. But do not worry, you can go over this with your counselor. Um, but if for sure you do not want a first period, um, go ahead and add that class in, um, and then you can discuss it with your counselor later. This allows us to not uh, design your schedule with the first period. So by us knowing that you do not want one, this can help us and you a lot. Once you're done and your 12th grade classes, class selections look good, go ahead and submit my plan for counselor review. So you go ahead and click up here at the top and then your counselor will be able to then review your course selections with you during your um, appointment. You did it. You went through part one of the programming process and now we're just about to finish up part two and this is the third part coming up. Very, very important. So we're gonna go ahead and do this right now. You're gonna schedule your appointment with your counselor. Um, and this is our favorite, favorite part. And we cannot wait to talk to you and just hear about what your goals are after high school so we can help you reach them. Um, keep in mind that our appointment windows for um, your junior class are from January 20th to January 29th. Um, so let me walk you through how you can make an appointment. So depending on who your counselor is, Ms. Geist is, helps students, last names A through G, I. I help students, Ms. Bayes, with last names G, O, through O. And Mr. Mendoza helps students with last names P through Z. So depending on who your counselor is, uh, go ahead and um, either click on um, their appointment book bit.ly link that you can see down here in a bright green box on the bottom, um, or you can type it into your browser. So go ahead and do that now. Again, remember that this presentation is located in your class of 2022 Google Classroom. So once you've typed in their bit.ly appointment book link, you will then see something like this. It's, their, it's our appointment book. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna make sure first that the appointment week that you're seeing is for the week of January 18th. And you may notice that your counselor may have appointment times already ready to go starting today, Wednesday, January 20th. Um, so go ahead and choose a time and a day that works best for you under the boxes that say, ac the, for the boxes that say academic planning. So you'll see that there will be um, different appointment slots, but you will only choose an academic plan appointment time slot. It's important that you are on time and that you set a reminder on your phone for your appointment and that you do not miss this appointment. Again, remember that our appointment window starts today, January 20th, and it runs until January 29th. But once you click on an academic planning appointment slot that you are interested in, you will see this page come up. So go ahead and type in your name where it says type your name here. As you can see, there will be a Zoom link as well, ready to go for you and hit save. Once you hit save, it saves it into your Google Calendar. Know this, all seniors must take a minimum of five classes. Your academic plan and the courses you have chosen do not have to be perfect. That is the purpose of meeting with your counselor to go over your graduation requirements together and to finalize any choices. Don't stress, we know that these are difficult times and we're going to be um, very flexible with your schedule and kind of other things that you have going on. So if you happen to miss your appointment, please reschedule with us and show up to your appointment. Um, each counselor has a very tight schedule in January. 
So if you do not normally check your calendar or your email, um, please be checking it frequently. And it might help to set a reminder on your phone. You did it. You scheduled your appointment. You're ready to go. And we can't wait to meet with you. Um, so we look forward to meeting with you all very soon. Um, should you have any questions until then, go ahead and let us know, or you can wait until your appointment time. Either way is fine. Um, and remember that this counseling presentation will be posted in your class of 2022 Google Classroom. Can't wait to talk to you. Bye-bye.